Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. So Tesla has just released their master plan part four, and this should change the view of all investors on Tesla. But many will probably not get it. But let's just start by watching this short little video from Tesla. Humans are tool makers. And at Tesla, we are builders of physical products at scale that make life better for all. We have been working tirelessly to create the foundation for a technological renaissance through the development of electric vehicles, energy products, and humanoid robots. This next chapter will be on an even grander scale than we have yet to see. We are building the products and services that bring AI into the physical world. We are combining our manufacturing capabilities with our autonomous prowess to accelerate global prosperity. We are building a safer, cleaner, and more enjoyable world for all. We call this sustainable abundance. What's the happiest future you could imagine? One which there's sustainable abundance for all. Yes, Tesla is building physical products, something that will not just be disrupted easily by AI, like every software company could be disrupted by AI, like Windows, that does not make any physical products, as Elon has said, they will do with micro hard. Windows could eventually be disrupted by AI, as AI will be able to make anything in software you desire. But building physical products and being able to do that at scale is a skill that will set Tesla apart from many other AI companies. Tesla will bring AI into the physical world. And this whole master plan is all about that, as this will eventually be able to bring us to a future of sustainable abundance. But how? Well, Omar asked on X, what are the steps to achieve master plan part four? Scale for self-driving and Optimus, I guess, right? As there is not a lot of details in the plan on how to do this exactly, but I personally think this is quite obvious. And they do talk about scaling humanoid robots and energy and autonomous transport. So what Tesla is working on right now is what they just need to scale up basically. Very simplified, of course, but as Elon replied, those are the biggest factors. 80% of Tesla's value will be Optimus. Yes, this is something we have talked about many times before. Long term, Optimus is the product that will create the biggest value creation for Tesla. Many people don't have the imagination to see this. They don't believe in the humanoid robot or AGI, just like they didn't believe it was possible to make a reusable rocket booster, let alone catch it out of mid air with some chopsticks, or thought Tesla would never be able to build an electric sedan like the Model S. It was all just vaporware. I, I really believe that the sedan is, is absolute vaporware. There is no way that Tesla has the cash on hand in order to be able to truly develop their own sedan. This is the first mass manufactured electric car. This is something that is... Uh... They've got a prototype that they're going to show, and they're going to start taking deposits, which I find just an amazing act of God or said the Cybertruck was not real and would never be made, or that Tesla would never put a robotaxi on the street. Well, if you have a little imagination and also see the progress that AI is making at the moment and the capabilities of the humanoid robots are learning rapidly and understanding that AI driving a car that is a thousand times smarter than you and I and never get distracted and can see 360 degrees around the car all at once, all the time, of course, will be able to drive much better than we humans will ever be able to do. But you, of course, need to understand this and have the imagination to see where this is inevitably 
going, and so many people just don't. So you will no doubt see a lot of hate thrown Tesla's way because of this master plan four. Because many people will not believe in sustainable abundance. But in my opinion, this is basically. Inevitable. So this is also a wake-up call to all Tesla investors that are still short-term focused on car sales and margins on those cars. So what you're focusing on is not what the company itself is focusing on for the future. As you can read in this master plan, they do not really mention anything about building electric cars, only autonomous vehicles. So the goal of producing 20 million EVs. Is no longer something Tesla is pursuing. They might still do it, but not making EVs for people to drive themselves, but to produce 20 million robot taxis instead. So the focus for some people is still on Tesla's old mission to accelerate the world to sustainable transport. But that is now just a submission of the overall master plan. They do not talk about producing only electric vehicles. This is no longer a part of Tesla mission to sell as many BEVs as possible because Tesla has already pushed the entire automotive industry to go electric. So that mission has already been achieved. Now making premium autonomous transportation affordable and available for everyone on the planet. So Tesla is literally telling everyone they are now completely shifting away from being just a car company to become an energy, AI, and robotics company. As Tesla wrote in their master plan form, we are accelerating the world's transition to a sustainable abundance. We must make one thing clear: this challenge will be extremely difficult to overcome. The elimination of scarcity will require tireless and exquisite execution. Some will perceive it as impossible, and plenty of others will allow every obstacle and setback we inevitable encounter along the way. But once we Overcome these challenges. Our critics will come to see that what they once thought was impossible is indeed possible, and that will be fine with us because what matters most is that together we create a sustainable and truly abundant future for generations to come. Yes, like so many times before, people will scream, "It is impossible!" And like so many times before, they will be proven wrong. But Just imagine working for this company that is going to accelerate the whole planet's prosperity and way to sustainable abundance. That is exactly what I was talking about in yesterday's videos. This is exactly why Tesla doesn't need to pay its AI engineers unsustainable amount to get them to work for them because they want to work for a company that is not afraid to say they will change the world. Just like Steve. Jobs once said, "The people that are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do." So there might be a lot of people that think this is crazy and it will never happen. It's impossible. Well, these people will not change. Anything, probably not even in their own life. They are the status quo. But Tesla is crazy enough to think they can change the world, so they will probably be the one that does. And as Tesla continues, all worthwhile journeys are long, and they all begin with the first step. Our first step was making an exciting sports car, Roadster. Then we leveraged those profits to found the development and production of a more affordable yet still exciting products, Model S and Model X. Then we repeated the process, bringing us to the Model 3 and Model Y and onwards. This process requires us to take many steps, some of them small and others large. But ultimately, each win lead to another win. And even with our failures, we were. We're able to keep building momentum. Our momentum allows us to build out a fully integrated ecosystem of sustainable products, from transport to energy generation, battery storage, and robotics. 
Today we are on the cusp of a revolutionary period, primed for unprecedented growth. And this time it will not be a single step, but a leap forward for Tesla and humanity as a whole. The tools we are going to develop will help us build the kind of world that we always dreamed of, a world of sustainable abundance by redefining the fundamental building blocks of labor, mobility and energy at scale for all. Yes, I don't think people realize just how disruptive just cheap abundance energy is going to be, just like Tony Saber has been talking about. Being able to also print labor will make it possible to do tasks that were simply too expensive to do before because of the expensive human labor involved. But with humanoid robots at scale, things will change dramatically. And when we get sustainable energy at scale as well, the cost will drop to nearly zero, so even things that were expensive in energy cost to do before will be disrupted as energy will become abundance as well. This is what the future is all about. AI, energy generation and robots. And Tesla has been laying the foundation bricks for this for years, working on all three of these sectors together with them becoming masters of manufacturing and scaling complex supply chains. Tesla is set up perfectly to execute on this. But as Tesla said, it will not be easy. But I don't see any other company set up as perfect as Tesla is for this. And not many will be crazy enough to think they can actually change the world. But Elon Musk and Tesla are. Just like Steve Jobs said, here's to the crazy ones. Here's to the crazy ones. The misfits. The rebels. The troublemakers. The round pegs in the square holes. The ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules, and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them. Because they change things. They push the human race forward. While some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. What's the happiest future you can imagine? One which there's sustainable abundance for all. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and Be nice.